So this is a wet simulator where students can practice with the equipment they're going to be using in the cardiac cath lab when they begin as students or as uh, technologists. And we're able to use various entry points into the body, arterial entry sites, and they're able to look at the coronary anatomy and be able to adjust catheter position, wire exchanges, the type of stuff that they would be doing while they're in the hospital. Leslie, what does something like this cost? Uh, this simulator here was around $30,000. So you can't just go out and buy it. These donations matter. Yes, they matter very much. We would have not been able to purchase this one and two other simulators that we are currently using uh, if we didn't have that donation money. And last uh, fall, it allowed us to bring our students in here for clinic experiences when they couldn't get in the hospital. There we go. You're at two. How much did it mean to your education to have these simulations to use? Oh, amazing. Amazing because because we were not allowed to go to the hospitals. Like the last year students coming here and kind of practicing was a big help. So those donations have been critical? Absolutely. Definitely. I think my donation's been used very well. You, you were moved today. I was. Um, I think I know the heart of my dad. I know I know the heart of my dad. And the equipment is great. The simulators are, I'm sure, well needed, but to see the students that are benefiting from it and knowing that they're going to be well trained and get great paying jobs in our community and stay here is um, something that he would always have been a supporter of and my mom will continue to be a supporter of that. And so simulators are great, but the people behind it and how it's benefiting local people is what was so impressive to me.